Yes guys, welcome back to the Monoposto 2023 Track Guide Series. Today we have the seventh episode and we are going to be taking a look at how to master Emila. As you can see, here is what happened and this is my hot lap of Miami on screen now. That's the last episode. Be sure to like, share and subscribe if you're enjoying this series, if you're finding it helpful. And without further ado, let's dive straight into today's Track Guide video. Okay, so here we are in the pit lane at Imola and the first thing as always we're going to talk about is setup now Imola is quite a technical circuit more technical than you think there's a lot of corners so that obviously means you want quite a lot of downforce this is the setup that I've chosen to run as you can see it's not quite high downforce as you might be expecting because a lot of them are high speed corners however you want a relatively high suspension just a bit more than mid wings but closer to the grip side as you want to make sure your car is glued to the track in the high speed corners and that begins now at the final corner not a particularly high speed corner this one however as you come to start the lap you want to make sure you position your car as far on the right hand side as possible as by this bit if you're accelerating to start the lap this should be taken flat so this is you want to keep your car in the middle of the track and then on the exit just on the right hand side you can go over the curb and use the blue runoff so maximize the width of the track use all of this up into ERS straight away and then you take the shortest path open DRS you can come wide here to straighten out the track for you aim for that red thing at the end of the pit lane now for braking I like to use manual ERS I've already said that God, I feel it that it recharges better so you can see where the sand ends and the grass starts on the left hand side that's where I disable ERS as I use it manually as we're now rapidly approaching the first corner you can see the brake signs coming up you want to kind of down the pit straight it's not entirely straight it's a lot of kinks but you want to take the path of least resistance however by the time you get to the first corner it's a break at the 50 meter board and you want to make sure your car's on the right hand side what it's easy to do though is not break enough and not kill off enough speed in monoposto this is a high speed corner you can break once one dab on the brakes and then you can just roll the car through turn one and as you're just about to hit the apex just about you can see about this point here you can slowly start and get back on the power so you want to as soon as you've come through the apex of turn one and two you want to bring your car over to the right hand side and just at this black shadow of the overboard that we've just passed under you want to start steering in for turn three otherwise you're going to do what i did in the outtakes and that is of course you're just going to spin off too much as you've not killed off enough speed so it's really important if you want to take it flat that you turn in slightly early to make sure that you can maintain the speed the next corner this is either a 50 meter brake or you can just lift off the throttle entirely and then have two separate dabs on the brake during this part of the corner so as I said there's two ways you can do that I chose to just break out the 50 meter board it's entirely up to you it does work you can just lift off the power and coast the car through at this point however as long as you have two little dabs on the brake during the actual chicane then you should still be fine you should still be able to get the car slowed down it's entirely up to you whatever you feel more comfortable doing make sure you don't ride any of the curbs in this section however this exit curb on the far left hand side make sure you use this you need to use this however obviously be careful to not touch the grass afterwards you will dip because then you want to make sure you move your car to the right hand side and keep it pinned next corner I think it's turn six break at the 50 meter board you want to turn in early take a shallow apex but you want to come wide on the entry so you can use a little bit of the inside curb however then bring your car really out to the right hand side you can use that curb on the right hand side on the exit if you want to and then keeping your car on the exit on the right hand side you should just be able to nicely power out of Toza up towards turn seven this is the this is the one of the main high speed corners on the track like turns one and two and then the three and four chicane it's so important that you turn in early for this corner as well otherwise that happens so what i would do is i would do one dab on the brake at the 50 meter board and then turn in early if that means using the blue and dark green runoff on the left hand side here that you can see then it's worth it as i said if you need to use this it's absolutely worth it to gain the lap time rather than turn in too late and end up running wide onto the gravel and then spinning out if 
for whatever reason, if the lap isn't so good and you do need to come wide, you can use this bit up to the end of the blue runoff. That's fine. You can see I kicked up a bit of gravel there. But no, that's absolutely fine. You can use either of those runoffs and then down to this corner i believe this is turn eight or nine something like that you want to make sure your car is as far left as possible heading into this turn there's a bit of a bump here this is the point where you start to break you will notice that when you're driving maybe not in this slow broken down part of the lap and you want to really maximize the entry of this corner really open it up as wide as possible as you can see, if you keep pinned on the throttle too long and you end up braking too late, you just end up running too far wide and you spin off into the wall. So it's beneficial to brake at the bump, brake early before the corner. After all, they do say slow in, fast out, and that is most certainly the case at this corner. As you now blast down towards the next chicane. Now again, for the chicane, you want to keep your car on the left-hand side on the entry. It's a break at the 50 meter board. Unfortunately, you can't attack it as much as you would in real life or on the official F1 games. Um, because there's no runoff on the far side, just grass. And you can see it's really easy to spin off if you don't kill off enough speed. So it's really important that you do make sure that you're not too greedy on the throttle. By the time the curb starts on the left-hand side, you want to turn in. Turn in early for the left-hand part of it as well and bring your car right to the far side, but don't touch the grass. And then as soon as you've straightened up, straight onto ERS. Use this blue runoff on the inside. It's actually slightly shorter. It's not corner cutting. And then we're heading back down towards the penultimate corner once more. So you, again, you are braking at the 50 meter board. And then you want to turn in slightly early to make sure that you hook the car up the inside apex. That's really important because these final two corners, when you're on a lap, this can be where it all comes undone. Try not to run too wide here. And again, you want to turn in, come wide on the exit once again, maximize the width of the track straight into ERS. And this time, you can take the shortest run to the line if you need to, or if you prefer to make the track wider on the exit, just like I did at the start, it's entirely up to you. Um, but yeah, that pretty much concludes our lap of Imola. It is quite a technical circuit, more so than you would think. It took me quite a few attempts to master a lap round here. As I say, I do hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, then please be sure to like, share and subscribe. I know somebody has been asking, but the next track guide will be at Monaco, the hardest track to master. And until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you all then. Take care.